Hey everybody, it's Doug here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to our continued playthrough of Plum Island, the uh, Plum Island horror game where we are basically, it's a tower defense style game where we have these factions that are defending against zombies. You've probably seen the last few episodes. I hope you've enjoyed them. It's been a lot of fun. I noticed that uh, when these videos, when I get these long series going, the viewership starts to drop off. So I hope you're still with me um, and uh, seeing how this game is played. But you know, I think you know how the game's played now. Now it's a matter of the question is, is it something you'd want in your own arsenal of games? I actually like this game. If I was to like have a zombie game day, this might be one of the games that shows up. Though it's rather long, so um, I don't know if how many of these you could get in if you're trying to play some other zombie games as well. Uh, lastly, uh, you know, if, if I don't get some likes or something on like this, I may um, end it a little early because I have some other things I'd really like to have show up on the table. But you know, as uh, as it goes, this is a good game. I'm enjoying it. I just want to make sure you all are enjoying it two. So let's uh, get on with it right away. We're going to start our next turns. And, uh, you know, some like, it, not not a fault of the game, but some games are more entertaining for people to watch than others. Maybe this one's, I don't know, it, see, it, it seems fine to me, but uh, you all tell me. Because I do have a couple of the games I'd like to get going. Anyway, let's get started. We're going to, we got our bag out, got everything sh shaken up. And we got to get some more people evacuated. I got a whole load of them coming soon. I, I still I feel like that's where I might fail is with the, the evacuations. But, oh, anyway, okay, we got the purple faction up first. That's the Greenport Township, all the purple folks. So before I forget, do I want to do a um, adrenaline sur a, a crisis adrenaline action, meaning I can move some people? I got this line of people going here to get folks shuffled down for evacuation. That's kind of the point of why I have this going on down here. I do have him up here. There's one little zombie left. That area has been really plagued. I've been really, I've been super tempted to build their base there. But right now, they have just enough supplies to cover the, the group. So if I don't get some more supplies, it, it could be a problem. But anyway, do I want to move anybody? Um, yeah, I think I do. I want to move him. But where do I want to move? I could move him up here and defend these guys. The Partridge, oh, I can't let the Partridge family die. <laughs> That'd be awful. Here's the Partridge. And there's the three. Um, I should probably go up there and grab them. Take out this one little unit here that's been stunned and hasn't moved. I think it's still, no, it's no longer stunned, but it hasn't moved at all. Our fireman has no damage on him whatsoever. He's a tough guy. I think I'll do that. I'll reposition him. He can move two, one, two, so he's going to move up here, and he can also um, desert it. There's a helipad there. I could also search up there if I needed to. We, I don't think we need him any here anymore with the Coast Guard either, so I should start to move him around. Um... He can take a lot of people by bus from far away when we're trying to get people from up in the distance back, like that guy. Maybe I move him up to uh, bring this person back, the Partridge family back. So let's do that. We're going to move him to to here. That'll be, be good. I think we're going to leave the rest alone for now. Um, though I do need to get the doctor. I don't want to send the doctor over here yet. There's creatures. I still could. I could I could air vacuum. Not, not in this phase. So anyway, we're going to end that. That's the crisis adrenaline phase. Now we're going to start our actions. In this round, we are in round five. We're going to get three actions. And with those three actions, we're going to get to do our three main actions with our faction. Then we're going to get two follow actions to in the solo game. That's part of the solo game, not part of the, co the competitive game. Or the cooperative game, rather. Okay, so I think uh, for our first official action... What do I want to do? I There was something I did want to do. I thought, oh, I thought about building the base. We need to get supplies. That's something that's really valuable. Um, the doctor has the ability to, which is it, search here? I'm not, I can never remember exactly which it is. I think it's search, right? Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure. All right, well, we could do that here. Uh, let me see. That's forage. This is uh, the forage. That's supplies? Forge supplies. Yeah, well, so we could forge supplies there. That might be worth the doctor doing. He's got a three. Let's uh, let's look at the skill, the ability of foraging. Might be worth doing foraging 
uh, active player to take as many supplies, markers from the general supplies. There are forge icons on the area. That'd be one. Yuck. That seems like a huge waste. I would almost rather move over to... Nope, they're both the same. No no value there. I wonder if I could... Oh, I could forge with him. What's he got down here? Nothing in the port. Oh, that bites. Because um, I, I need to keep him there. Oh, what about over here? We can still... We got a search. Let's do that. Trash can guy. He's got a good search ability, I think. Uh, right tools when doing a repair action. Oh, that... Yeah, yeah. But he's going to... He's going to actually search that space so that we can get... A search card, because search cards are really valuable to us. We can do that. I don't think it has to be a safe space. In other words, I think we can search regardless of the fact there's a, hor a horror there, but I'm going to double check uh, just to be sure. Don't want to cheat. Um, let's see. Uh, search. Play immediately at the top of the search card. Yeah, it doesn't say. Then it's the bottom of the search card. If there is a binocular icon on the active player, the player may draw the top search card from the deck, follow the directions of the card, Yep, okay. It doesn't say that it can't be uh, occupied. So we're going to do that because usually these give you something good and supplies. And I like that much better. So what do we get? The Legend of the Plum Island Mermaid. Okay. <laughs> One of your searchers finds an interesting old book in the private library. It explains in detail the story of the Plum Island Mermaid and how she saved the original settlers of the island. It also describes quite a bit more cryptically uh, the procedure to invoke a blessing spell. But it's only good for one use. The book will self-destruct ten seconds after the spell. The use the fire of the sp uh, after you fire off the spell. Duck. Take the blessings mermaid marker and place it near the players. Any player may decide to use it, it if they wish to redraw a fate number for any reason after that discard it. I have to find that token. I don't think I've ever seen it. I'm sure it's here haven't looked for it. But that that was an interesting find, and I think because one of our Plum Island people drew it, that's who's going to get it. And here it is. It says I can place it. Uh, do I place it on a player? Take the placing near the players. Okay, they may decide. I'm going to put it in the other space for the Plum Island guys, just so I remember it. That was our first action, and that's going to end that. So we get to basically draw a new fate number. Is what allows us to do that. That's okay. It's not supplies. Um. Then I think. You know, I don't see anything here that has more than one supply thing on it. Oh, yeah, I do. There's uh, up here, there's one that has more than one supply. Get two supplies there. Because, I mean, getting one supply isn't very valuable. We need supplies. Um, so, where else? Uh, second action. Okay, second action. We could attack that, uh, the horror there, and kill it. That might be useful. Um it did not, this did not say, just to double check, it did not say we have to exhaust it. No, we do not have to exhaust that area, so I could do that again if I wanted to, but we're not going to. I think we got some, oh, that's wrong faction. We can't do anything there. Um, why don't we do this? We're going to use him to take an action to move the Partridge family back to here. That would be helpful. Um, I don't think... With our base there, I was thinking about building our base over here somewhere, but I don't, I don't know if it's that helpful, really. It's got reinforced walls. It's pretty tough, but we're not facing any. We killed the big challenge that was coming down there at great cost, by the way. Took a lot of damage doing it, but we got them. All right. Um, that was action number two. Action number three. We're going to have this guy. We can, I think, no, we can't do that. We have to use that as follow action. Um, okay, for action number three, I'm going to move him two to here. We'll pick up the Partridge family and head back. Now, that seems wasteful. Seems wasteful. I could spend one... Su I need supplies. I need supplies. Maybe he'll do another search there, the, the fire the fire marshal. Fire marshal Bill Laflamme will do a search. His fire hose's ability is good for attacking. A, like if there was a large group here, I'd use it. But I'm not worried about this one unit coming in here. It will attack him. That's okay. So he's going to do a search there. Let's see. Let's see if we can get some supplies of this. Not our next turn. <laughs> Wait. We need supplies this round. I got ways to go. We're okay. Okay. Let's do it. Uh oh. This is crazy. Okay. A wrecked ambulance is found with some weird chemicals on board. You decide to invest some time and effort to. Uh, experiment with these obviously powerful special drugs. 
You may spend any number of supplies for each supply spent. Reduce the biohazard track by one. I don't care about that. If the first class passenger's VIP unit is on the map, I don't have those on the map. Or evacuated. Wait. Let me see if they're in our pile of dead or other. Uh, there was a, a prominent scientist on board the plane and she helps you out. Oh, these are the VIPs. So they're not there. We don't, we don't have them on the board. Okay. Uh, exhaust this area. So this card was useless to it to us. And unfortunately, we have to exhaust the area. So we're going to do that. All right. Well, that was a weak third action. Okay. Now our follow actions. Well, for our first follow action, we're going to use this guy with his four um, ability to get all of these guys over to here. One, two, three, four. Perfect. And then we're going to use him to get use. We're going to get them off the ship. We may do that with our second follow action. That would be huge. Except, I think, for our second follow action, I want the tennis pros who don't require any ammo to shoot to uh, hit the Sasquatch. Yeah, I think the Sasquatch. The trash can guy, what has he got in damage? He's got no damage on him. So if that unit attacks him, I'm not that worried about it. Let's use the, the tennis pros here, the two ladies. Um, well, they'd have to move. They'd have to move. The only one I can attack is this right here with him. I could use the golf pro, though. He's right here. He's got a two... But uh, Phil Tiger King has an ability of four. Says this: if he conducts a ranged attack against a horror that is up to two adjacent away, he gets he can get plus one range. But if he's one adjacent, he gets plus one uh, to his combat rating. So um, he can attack two away. Oh, he could attack the Sasquatch. But and that's what we're gonna do, right? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna attack the Sasquatch. Okay, we're gonna attack the Sasquatch with three dice because he's there two away. So let's get that out. So, and now he's going to heal, remember, if we get to the end of the turn. So we're going to hopefully we get to kill him this turn. That would be great. Uh, okay, we got a hit and a critical. So we're going to reroll this one. Uh, nothing. So we got uh, two hits on him. That's not awful. So we'll take a couple of hit cubes and put them on the Sasquatch. He's only got four health. That was uh, follow action. Oh, wait. After the first follow action, I needed to do this. Okay, we didn't have a fate. Didn't have a card. So the second follow action, we do have an event card on the second follow action. Which means we're going to draw one of these bad boys right after we smacked the Sasquatch in the head with a golf ball. Okay. A bridge too far. Draw a fate number. Find the bridge with the, that number. They say damage two marker on it. That's not the worst thing that could happen, but it is not good. So let's see. Um, six is going to be our number. So that's going to be way over where we're at. Let's get a damage two marker and find the bridge that's number six. Is that, that cannot be the big bridge, is it? Let's see, uh, let's go across bridges here. Four, five. Um, I got, I had, oh, right here. So this, oh, that's a bad one to, to break. This, this bridge got damaged. That is bad because that's the bridge between the two sides of the board. That's not good at all. So we will have to repair that. Luckily, we have some people around that can do that. Okay, that marks the end of that draw. So that was all our actions right there. We're going to get these guys out pretty soon, I think. The big load of them. Okay, what do we get next? Oh, the Doom. Doom is upon us, which means we're going to have to draw an event card. So let's see what we get here. Uh, that looks infected. Each player must assign one additional hit to any one wounded faction. <gasps> That's bad. That's bad, bad, bad. Okay, we'll do that. Any, each player must assign one additional hit to any one wounded unit in their faction. So this is not great. It's not. It's okay for these guys. We'll just assign it to the doctor. He's got a three, but he's not in danger of any damage right now. So we do need to start healing people. However, over here we got a problem. These are all fours. John Deere, you know, he's kind of weak. If I, They could die. I don't want the tennis pros to die. I'd rather have John Deere die than them. I don't want any of them to die. Um, if I put that fourth cube on him in this situation, I think that I have to make that fate draw. Yeah, I'm going to have to make the fate draw to see if he lives through that, and then he'll go back to having three damage. I think we're going to do that, y'all. Uh, I think so. I think that's what's going to happen. Let me think about that. We'll be, I'll be right back. Okay, I think I'm going to have to do it. I cannot, I cannot risk the, them. Now, they have a bravery rating of three, which means they have a better chance. He's only got a bravery rating of two 
But if I, if I haven't used him for much, if I if he dies, then he dies, and I guess we'll have to deal with that. So we're gonna put a cube on him and get out our fate deck and see if I I have to draw. I have to draw. It's a two, so I have to draw a two or a one, and I'm okay. Otherwise, I'm he's dead. A one. Oh my god. Oh wow, that was really lucky. Okay. Okay, that's awesome. So basically, that cube comes off. He did not die, but that was a close call for John Johnny Deer. Good for us. I mean, the nature of this game, somebody going to die eventually, right? So, but that was our 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 draw, our doom token, our event draw. Let's see what comes up next. We get okay. It's going to be a fate, one of the fate cards. So now monsters and stuff are going to go. Let's see what we get here. We're going to spawn on track three. We're still only spawning three, so we got one, two. three. Three zombies appearing on track three. And then we're going to have a surge. Uh-oh. Draw another fate card. Okay. Let's do that. What do we get? We get a six. Oh! That's going to... Well... Okay. That's okay. Um, it's going to activate twice. Uh, you can, if you need a refresher, a surge works like this. Draw fate number. Activate that track equaling the draw number twice. There's just the one unit there. So it's going to attack our trash can guy. I'm not going to complain about that at all. He's got a combat rating of two. Let's see if he can defend against them and maybe kill them. Uh, he did kill them, for sure, but he didn't defend yet. And he didn't. So he's going to take a point of damage. Um, we'll give him that damage. Oosh, he's, I put that on his character mat. Uh, this unit, though, is gone. Uh, he did kill it. However, we are going to put another yellow biohazard cube in the bag, which means that there's only two left of those before we really start getting crazy here. Okay, that was it for that fate draw. That wasn't terrible. I didn't mind that. Now let's draw another one. Okay, the athletics club is going to go. That's fantastic. I need them to go. Okay, first action. Golfer's going to go at the Sasquatch again. He's going to roll three dice because he's only one away. He gets one plus one to his rating, so he gets three dice. There we go. Normally he gets two, but this is good. Um, okay, he this this counts as two hits, which will kill the Sasquatch. Sasquatch, we have got him gone. He is dead. Okay, I don't think it does anything to put him down. Let's see, Bigfoot, forever. If Jim Boot, nope, 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 nope. Okay, he's gone. That was action one. Remember, we don't have to use any resources for that. That is good. Um, action two. I think we're going to do the same thing. Against this four stack unit right here, he's going to swing again. This is going to be uh, Golf Pro Phil Tiger King. Let's see what he can do here. Okay, now in a range of combat, this this accounts as a hit, so that's two hits. It's going to knock two more off that stack. That's good. That means they're weakened, so they move faster, but won't do as much damage. Okay, action number three. Do I want to bother with that with them anymore? <laughs> Oh, you know what? I have Coach Calhoun right here. I should have been. I should be. Re I could have a re-roll, so I could take this guy and re-roll it and get another hit. That actually matters, so we'll do that. I forgot that Coach Calhoun was there, so that's down to one. Now we only got that big stack over next to us, but that's still two of our three actions. Our third action. Um, we could have probably get some movement going on, right? Now, you know, our swimmer can go from beach to beach, but we're nowhere near a beach. I mean, I can come all the way over here. I don't see the point, Matt. All the action was happening over here at the moment. Uh, I think what we'll do for our final action is we're going to um, have our trash can guy search that space again. Oh, it's ex it, it is not exhausted. It's just one. So we're going to do that because um, we need supplies. I'm going to hope that something gives us supplies. Okay. Uh, medical oil or medicinal oil secretion from Fury MacGuffin rodent. Okay. PIRL, Security Services releases key research documents. If, if your unit is at cleaner's crew or scientist's unit, is a cleaner's crew or so no, they're not, uh, reduce the biohazard track by, level by four. Wow, that's good. If other pearls units reduce by two. I don't think I have, I don't have any pearls units. Those are like this, the special, we don't have those. Greenport Township discovers complex science documents. If your unit is the EMT unit, um, I think we do have the, no, we have the fire marshal. If your unit is the EMT unit, reduce the biohazard 
that biohazard track level by three. Oh, we do have the EMT. That's Dr. Doug House, EMT. Um, we're going to get to reduce the biohazard track by three spaces if other GT units. Well, how will we know that? I understand this card. Oh, who, it's based on who searched. So none, neither of these are true at this point. Neither of these are true. The trash can guy searched. Uh, so it's going to go down by one because he's part of the Greenport Township. Other discover, others discover almost in decipherable important documents, reduce the biohazard track by one. So we're going to reduce our biohazard track by one is what that ends up going. We're going to go from six to five. Not that big a deal. If all cases, in all cases, if the Riverhead Zoo area, 3F, is compromised, 3F is not compromised. It is not compromised. Uh, discard one supply and gain any of these benefits. Okay, but it wasn't. So I guess we just, in all cases, if the Reverend Sue is compromised, you must first discard one supply. Okay, we don't have to do that. And then that area is going to be exhausted. Um, so we'll put an exhaustion marker on that. Exhausted location. And that was that was action number two, right? Yes. No, one, two, we, we attack the enemy unit. Just act. That was action number... Hold on. I couldn't have even done that. We'll say that was our first follow-on action. I couldn't even do that. I'm playing the wrong faction there, but that's okay. Um, that's okay. Uh, I, I think that was one. I still had third action. Get too excited about which ones I can use, right? Um, I think for our third action, we'll just move them there, and that, that'll cover it for me. So for our first follow action, we did that with the trash can guy. We're going to draw a fate card. We did not draw an event. So that, that worked out okay. We didn't end up cheating. Sorry. And then for our third, our second fate, our second action, the, this guy is going to um, send these guys to the ship. Or the ship's going to activate, rather. So that's going to be four. Now remember, this person gives us plus one for each. So that's an additional three. So it's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen evacuees. So we're going to go up to 22. We're almost, that was a big load. We're almost there. We just got to get a few more people off the uh, evacuated and we're good. I think I can get them done with a helicopter next turn. Now, how did I know I could get all those guys off there with this one unit? Because it has a four right there. That That's its rating. So I was able to get four units off. That's what I did. Those four units had that one VIP that boosted all the other units that went with it. So that was a very good play right there. Um, and then that marks the end of that, but we do have to draw a fake card to see if we get a, another... We do, we get another uh, event. That is, those are not good. They're never good. So let's see, hopefully nobody dies. That'd be bad. Let's see what we get here. Pearl storage units breached. If the Oceanside Industrial Park area C2 has any damage markers on it, C1... or uh, 2C, rather. 2C. It does. Oh, no. Has any damage markers spawn a murder force stat there? Oh no, the fire marshal. Okay, uh, these these enemies came up right away. There, they haven't activated, but they're there. There's three of them that spawned up right there because there is still damage on that. That is crazy. Just spawned right there with our fire marshal. Hopefully, he gets to uh, do something soon. Um, that was uh, actually the end of that draw. So now we're going to draw again. Hopefully, we get another faction unit. What do we get? Oh, we get another Fate card. That's not good, not good. Okay, Fate. Let's see what we get. Uh, no spawn, but tracks 1, 2, and 3 are going to activate. Okay, well, that means we are going to have a fight. Put a combat token on there. Uh, this will add to that stack. And then there will be a combat there. This one will go... There's three units there, so it's going to go 1, 2, and then we got to draw a Fate card to see which way it goes. Uh, it's going to go 5. So a 5 will take it this way, 3. And then that's tracks one, two, and three, right? One, two, and three. Yes. Is that right? No spawn, tracks one, two, three. Yes. Okay. So that was it. Now we just got to do this combat there. There are one, two, three, four enemies there. They are in a building. So that means with four enemies, the most they can do is one damage. A fire marshal has a combat rating of four. Yeah. He's tough. Okay. Um, should be using him in all the fights. He's got a combat rating of four. Means he's likely to defend himself against this. Let's see what happens. Okay, uh, we got two hits, a half a hit, and a, and a critical. Let's roll again. I'm looking for a shield. Nope. Um, do I have a reroll? 
I do not. So that's going to be it. But we did three damage to it. One, two, three. That means there's one left there. We always seem to be just with one left. We are going to do a damage to the fire marshal. He did, unfortunately, take a damage. He's got a five health, though. He's tough. And then lastly, we're going to put another cube into the bag. There's still one enemy unit there. All right. Good job, though, fire marshal. You did your, your job. All right. That was that. Let's go on to the next token. That There should all be faction tokens now. No, the last fake token. Now they're all going to be faction tokens. Let's see what activates. Track three and four are going to spawn. There was no enemies on there, so that's okay. Let's get, uh, we got three there and then three there. Lots of horror, horror enemies of monsters coming out. So track one and track six, there's nothing on track one. There is something on track six. These guys will go one. We'll draw another fake card to see which way they go. They're going to go three. Then we're going to have to reshuffle. Re so two, three. Then, not that it matters, but that's how you do it. So they end up, they're coming down there to fight. Got to reshuffle our fake deck. And that is it for that, that round. They're coming. They're coming. They're starting to take a toll on us. we got some people close to death. Not good. Um, but the golf pro, he's going to do some damage, I believe. We'll see if he could get some things done. Okay, let's shuffle that up a little bit. Let's shuffle a little more before we draw something. And we're going to get the Islander Athletic Club. Okay. 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 What do we want to do with them? Uh, we got a lot of stuff going on. I think that... Um, uh, I don't want to, I mean, he could, they, we could move up into there, I think. That might be helpful. Um, we could attack these guys and kill them. This this unit's going to pass them right by. That is not a good thing, actually. It might be worth, for, okay, first action, he's going to go one, two down to here. Second action, he's going to take a shot. He's only going to get two dice because he's two away, but he's going to take a shot at that big board unit that's there. He does not get the bonus from the coach. Um, and he's in the building now. So, uh, one critical. That is good. We're going to roll a half heart. So he just does one point of damage to that. Because four is cool, but it's not that his ability is cool, but it's not enough to do anything. That was second action. Third action. Do I do it again? Or does, the, does he range attack? Yeah. They're too far. They can't do it. We need we need supplies, don't we? We need supplies. So I think what we're going to do, since... Oof, do we have any place that's got a good amount of supplies? No. Searches, supplies. We could search with the um, golf pros, or the tennis pros. They're in that space. They could search there. We could search at our compound, too. We could also get... Ooh, two supplies. What we're going to do here is they're going to... Uh, Coach uh, Calhoun... Sid Calhoun is going to forage there, which will give him two supplies. That will give us enough to feed everybody and lock that down. Okay, that was action number three. So our follow actions. Our first follow action... Let me see. First follow action will be... Uh, we're going to... The first follow action will be for the National Guard to move these two guys here. Okay. We got two two units there. That's good. That was first one. Let's draw a fake card and see if we get a. We do not get a new uh, event. And then for our second follow action, the ship is going to evacuate these four people. It gives four more points. We evacuated the uh, Adams family. That's good. We didn't want them to die because they have a cool car. And uh, Jilly Jeff's auto service. So mechanics, everybody get off the board. We got four more points. One, two, three, four. We have enough if we can just survive the next several rounds. Enough evacuees. And then we're going to draw to see if we get a fake card. We, uh, we do get, sorry, an event card. We do. So let's uh, draw an event to see what bad things happen to us. A brutal brawl at the docks. If there are any civilian units at the Greenport docks, 3K. So 3K. There are not. There are not. Um, half of them rounded up or eliminated. Players choose which are removed. Okay. There were not any guys there. That is fantastic. The reason there weren't any there is because we just evacuated them. So that was serendipitous. Okay, that is it for um, that group. Now we got, I think we have one more token. So it's going to be the purple faction. Our township faction is going to get to go. That is good. Um, we have just enough supplies to keep them healthy. 
but we could get more supplies. That wouldn't be a terrible thing. And I think, is there two here? No, it's two bio. I could reduce biohazard there. One supply. One su oh, yeah, man, I'm glad I did that. I uh, got those extra supplies for the orange faction because I forgot that we have these guys in our base that we've saved, which we have to feed. Two, four, six, and one short. Someone's got to take a damage unless they get some more supplies for them. Um, I should look up the forage action. I don't think there's any penalty. I don't think we exhaust the space because it doesn't give us that much. I mean, it's, it's a pretty bad way to get supplies, actually. But when you need them, you need them. Uh, forage. Yeah, oh, and then place an exhausted marker on it. So we did forage. Where, where do we have two? Where was that? Is that up here, here? Oh, it's with the, uh, nope. Where was that that I forged two? And I was like, oh, it's got two. Oh, it's the coach. Coach's area is exhausted. Okay. Um, wait, wrong token. Wrong token. That's a supply token. I want a exhausted token. There we go. All right. Um, hmm. Do I want to reposition anybody or move anybody? That, let's start there first. Um... Yeah, I might move the coach. I don't want to move. I'm kind of scared to move them here. I could move them to one, two down to there. And if they come, well, they're going to end up in here. I don't think that's a good idea. I could do a sacrifice with John Deere and kill those guys. A big group there coming. I could also move our swimmer somewhere. I just, this is just a two-point move. I can only move their, their foot movement in this case. I do believe... We should move the coach. The coach matters. I could move him one over. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll move him right here. Okay. Um, uh, this is repositioning, so this isn't taking my actions. I do think that we will move the swimmer, too. I don't see the point of the swimmer being there. The swimmer's got a three combat, too, so we're going to move him here, I think, to there to help fight that horde that's coming down there. Uh, do I want to move anybody else? No, I think that's good. I think we're good. Okay, that now we got to take our actions. So our actions... Wait, I'm moving all the wrong people. Gosh, guys, I'm not with it today. Not with it today. He's got to go back. No, he's got to go back here. And they got to go back there. I'm moving the purple ones. <laughs> okay, let's see. Do I want to move any of the purple guys? I do not. Well, yeah, him. Um, we're going to go up here so we can bust this partridge family back. I think that's the only one I want to move right now. I don't need him here for an evacuation. I should move him up and he can send them back there. So we'll do that. Okay. Reset. Done. All right. Actions. Actions. First action. Um, we're going to use this guy's bus ability. So buses, units may pick up and drop off any player or civilian unit, not, not compound during a vehicular move action. Only. So we're going to do a vehicular, vehicular move action. Uh, and we're going to... Oh, that's a waste. We got our we got our civilian... Well, we might need them later. So we're going to do that. We're going to move them back then. One, two, three to here. Well, we can move up to six on a vehicle action. But we're just going to move them here so we can start evacuating with the helicopter. Action number one. Action number two. Um, I don't want to burn supplies. I need... I number one supply. No, nope, I have five exactly. Don't want to burn the supply. So we're not going to take a ranged action with the trash can guy. He's still healthy. Um, can't search that area. It's exhausted. He can move these guys back to the docks and then we'll evacuate the next turn. That's action number two. Action number three, uh, I think we're going to do a melee. Let's just get rid of this guy. Or do I repair this this site? Let's repair this. I don't know if that, that doesn't help either. Actually, I need to repair the bridge. Should have moved him. We'll fight the horror. We're going to get rid of it. He's, there's a good chance he won't take any damage. He's got four dice. I mean, he's a tough guy. Or fire guy. Fire marshal guy. Uh, yeah, four dice. So let's see if he can defeat that horror that's there and not take damage. Well, he did get a critical, so he will kill it. But I really wanted a shield because now he's got two damage on him. And you think the odds are you can get in a shield, but they didn't. Anyway, this is gone. Unfortunately, that's the last of our yellow cubes into the bag. We need the orange faction to go so you can do ranged combat. But there we go. Okay. Last yellow cube. We're starting to go on the red ones. When we draw the red ones, it moves the track, the biohazard track, twice. It's really nasty. All right. Um, that was our one, two, 
So that was all our actions. Okay, our follow actions. Well, the first one we're going to do is he's going to do a... Our golf pro is going to attack the uh, that big unit over there. He's got two dice. I want to kill that unit before it gets to us. Let's see. First follow action. He does no damage. I don't have any re-rolls. Nope. And so we're going to draw and see if we got a... Uh, event we did not we're going to do that again for our second follow action it seems like the best thing to do uh one shield so we're going to kill one of them not great uh and that's it so let's draw and see if we can get another one we did not okay that's it all of our tokens are done so now we're going to go to the end phase end phase is we're going to replenish locations okay so all the location markers exhausted markers are coming off all right you know, we're going into the night phase, which is really critical for us because uh, we just have barely enough supplies to do this. Um, okay, so replenish mutant regeneration step. Well, we didn't, we killed the Sasquatch. We didn't get to regenerate. He was the only mutant on the board. Biohazard infection step. This is not going to be good for us. Let's get the biohazard bag out. Likely to draw something we don't want. We're going to draw two. So both of them are yellow. So that means it's going to put the track up twice. That puts our biohazard at seven right now. When we go to nine, we start spawning more monsters. Okay, um, that is that step. And then uh, we fill our order bag. That's the next step. So we're going to do that. All of our order tokens go into the bag. Okay, there we go. That's done. And then we're going to advance the time marker. Okay, next round is going to be the night phase. Then we're into our last three rounds. I might... I might do a couple of double rounds in the next episode. Maybe I'll try and complete the game in the next episode. I've got these going faster than I did before, and I don't have to explain as much. So we can just take the actions and see if we can win the game, right? Yeah. But next time is going to be a night phase. So that's going to be a little tougher for us, and we have to feed everybody. We got it. We got it covered. So we're good. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I think I made a couple of boo-boos, but I caught them. So I hope I did. If I didn't, I'm sure you'll let me know. And I will talk to you in the next episode. Take care. Have a good one. I hope you're enjoying Plum Island Horror. And uh, let me know if there's anything particularly you'd like to see on the table that, that I may or may not have. I might have it. I have a lot. So let me know. Take care. Bye-bye.